Hello class, Dr. Roberts here. Hey, I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk to you about the discussion forum that'll be a part of this course every week. And it's very important because it comprises 40% of your grade for the course. And it also contributes much to your learning and uh, what you will take away from this course. And I want you to do the very best you can with this. So I want to go over a, a few of the things that I look for every week in the grading process. And by the way, uh, the grading is not an arbitrary thing. Uh, it's very clear-cut expectations that are given to me as the instructor that I must follow. And so I'm just kind of letting you in on sort of the behind the scenes of what I look for when I go to grade. And if you'll just follow about three simple steps each week, you'll make a maximum possible score every week, and that'll give you a full 40%, 40 points, I should say, for uh, the course, uh, for this part of the course. So uh, let me take just a minute. I've got the syllabus open here. If you'll look on your screen here, and this is the description for the discussion forum, um, your initial post needs to be about 200 words in length. Frankly, I don't know how you can really get everything in that's required in anything less than 200 words. And it probably will take a little more than that. And I will not grade you down if you exceed 200 words. In fact, frankly, I'd like to see more like 300 words because I think it, it really will take just about that to, uh, you know, to fulfill. I'm not going to um, discount your score if you if you have only 200 words, but I'm just telling you, you're welcome to go over 200 words if you desire. Uh, notice that, of course, you're supposed to have three uh, postings each week, the initial post, and uh, then your responses to two of your uh, class members. Um, please notice that uh, this says in the in the syllabus here that your, and this is especially true for your initial post each week, that it must contain references from both, notice that word, both the assigned text and the scripture, uh, or it could be from the PowerPoint uh, and the scripture, but that, notice that word, both and, you need something from your reading or your PowerPoint and from scripture each week in order to substantiate your thoughts so the discussion forum is not just a chat room where we just air our own ideas. It is an academic exercise where you are expected as the student to bring to the discussion things from your reading or the PowerPoint and from Scripture every week. And if you will do that, you will get um, the maximum score. Of course, it is also important, one other thing, that you also spread those postings out through the week. And I would recommend you get the first one in by Sunday. Um, and then that gives your fellow class members a couple of days to respond to it. If you wait till the last day of the week and get all three in, um, it's really going to discount your grade. I want to show you the grading rubric, which uh, is also here in your syllabus. And you have access to this just like I do. But this is what I'm required to follow and you'll see here that if your postings are strongly substantiated by quotes from texts and scripture references, you get a maximum score on that particular um, part of the grading. And then you have to have all three during the week. And then also the frequency in which they are uh, submitted. Notice it says they are submitted throughout the discussion week, not all in one day or at the very end of the week. So if you'll just uh, bear that in mind, and I have uh, typed up just basically what I've just said in several bullet points, so it'll make it crystal clear for you. Again, it's a total of 40% of your grade, and bear in mind that each week's forum can earn up to five of those 40 total points. Also, uh, the criteria that I'm required to look for in grading First of all, I look for a quote or a citation from your reading or your PowerPoint that week. Secondly, I look for a quote from Scripture. And thirdly, I look to see that the initial post was submitted early enough in the week so that other students have an opportunity to respond to it. If you'll do those three simple things, you will earn full credit 
for your posts each and every week. Now, last, I've got an example here of an initial post from uh, an actual student who took this, uh, this same course previously, and she has given me permission to share this. But I want you to notice she has basically two paragraphs here. This is probably a little more than 200 words. But that's okay. Um, she says, I believe it can be easy for a church leader to fall into the temptation of manipulation. For this particular week, the question had to do with uh, the issue of manipulation and how sometimes in an effort maybe to raise a budget, uh, church leaders can resort to some unsavory tactics such as manipulation. So she's answering this specific question. But notice what she says here. From our week five PowerPoint, I discovered that there is a fine line between motivation and manipulation. There are three main indicators that help determine which of the two a leader is implementing and so forth. So you see she's being very specific here. She is citing where she, uh, the source from which she derives this information, and then she gives the information. Now, she could have given an, an exact quote, in which case she would need to use quotation marks. In this case, she basically paraphrased from the source, and that's perfectly okay as long as you cite the source and your paraphrase is you know, pretty close to, uh, to the original. Uh, she also gave several scripture references. You're only required to give one uh, in your initial post. She gave, uh, looks like, three here and talked about how those scriptures relate to the issue that she's discussing here. Um, and she got this initial post in early in the week. That's, a, that's an automatic five. I mean, she made the maximum possible points on this uh, initial posting. So I just want to encourage you to be aware of these things and um, put forth that little extra effort, and I think you're going to do great. And I'm here to help you. That's my role in this. I want to facilitate and serve you in any way I can um, to help you do your best to get the most out of this course so that you take something away from this uh, beyond just a grade, although the grade is important and I want you to get the best grade, too. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity to visit with you.